Wisconsin may be far north of the Mexico border, but passion for immigration reform runs deep. So really, the perception that that problem is along the borders, I think, is really overblown. And I think there are people that are concerned about it here. That was profoundly clear during the Day Without Latinos march in 2006 through the streets of Milwaukee, a defining moment against an immigration bill pushed by Wisconsin Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner. We are part of America and that we are contributing. Christine Newman Ortiz with the advocacy group Voces de la Frontera helped lead the protest. Large numbers of people have someone in their family who is affected um, by our broken immigration system. She says Republican presidential hopefuls in particular need the Latino vote. They cannot hope to win a presidential election without the Latino vote. And Wisconsin is one of the key states where the Latino vote in, as part of a broader coalition is in play and is significant. I don't think either side can afford to just try to avoid the issue. So that could make it more difficult an issue for the Democrats to deal with at that point. Today's election focuses on city and state races, but April 5th for the presidential primary, voters say where the candidates stand on immigration will play a big role in their vote. I mean, it's important on how people are treated. I think that people here in Wisconsin are worried about it. A vote that will impact a generation now and in the future. In Milwaukee, Hillary yeah. Mintz, WISN 12 News.